My greetings to everyone. I am Professor Namita Rajput in Department of Commerce, Sri Aurobindo College, University of Delhi. In the ongoing series of Principles of Marketing, today we will be talking on Product Life Cycle. The Product Life Cycle assumptions first we will discuss. The Product Life Cycle is a progression of the products through several stages from introduction to decline and many factors influence uh, the Product Life Cycle like market demand, technological advancement, competition, consumer behavior, market and promotion, economic factors, product quality and innovation and also about the regulatory changes and the global factors like what is happening in the world, international trade, geopolitical conditions and they can also impact the supply chain, production cost, market access and influencing the life cycle of the various products in the market. So let's discuss these one by one. Now the product life cycle as we have already discussed is a progression from introduction to decline. There are changes in the demand of the consumers and the product may experience a rapid growth in which there is a high demand or it may decline if the demand decreases. Now because of the technological advancements and the changes in the technology, there is a introduction of the new and the improved products causing the existing products to become obsolete and enter the decline stage very soon. Then because of the competition also and the pricing strategy of the competitors and because of this intense competition which can accelerate the decline of a product. We also talk about the changing patterns and behavior of the consumers towards the intensity of buying the environmentally friendly products which can also lead to decline of a non-sustainable products. We also talk about the effective marketing and the promotional strategies which can influence the duration and the success of the each stage of the product life cycle. Now there are some changes in the overall economy from recession period to growth period which can also influence the spending by the consumer habits and thus impacting the product life cycle. Now the quality of the product and its level of innovation can affect its competitiveness and determine how long it can remain in the growth and the maturity stages of the life cycle. Now there are some regulatory aspects also which needs a special mention here. The changes in the regulation and the standards can impact the life cycle of certain products particularly in the industries like healthcare, pharmaceuticals and the technology. The factors like globalization, international trade, geopolitical events can also impact the supply chains, the production cost, the market excess and influence the life cycle of the products in the various industries. Now there are some important environmental, sustainable and also the social trends which have a deep impact on the product life cycle leading to the introduction of the new products and decline of the others. So these factors are definitely what we have discussed are interconnected and have both direct and indirect effect on the product life cycle. The companies need to consider these factors when managing their product portfolios and developing the strategies relating to the product life cycle. So the intricate stages of the product life cycle and the critical role of the successful product development. The introduction stage marked by the low sales and the need for the consumer awareness is explored. And during this stage, the primary objective is to build a customer base, establish the product in the market and recover the initial developmental cost. The significance of making the improvement to the existing product is also emphasized, highlighting the importance of adapting to evolving market demands. Additionally, the document broadened its scope to encompass new products development as a cornerstone of the business strategy. It also underlines the indispensable blend of creativity the technical expertise and the strategic planning which is required for the successful product development. So let's have the key points of each stage. 
First, we will be talking on introduction stage. There are low sales, limited awareness, focus on building a customer base, establishing the product in the market and recovering the initial cost and also about making some improvements. Emphasis on revising the existing products to meet the changing market demands. The new product development is very crucial for innovation, growth and adapting to the market dynamics. And the success factors include the combination of creativity, technical expertise and strategic planning. And it has a business impact. It drives the innovation, aids the competitiveness and meets the evolving customer needs. Now here we are talking about the new product development, how the uh, the product is initially launched in the market, what aspects need to be considered, how the improvement takes place and how to meet the desires and the needs of the growing consumers. Now, in the entire journey of bringing a new product right from the concept to the market idea to the generation design, prototyping, testing and launching is done. So, a great care has to be taken by the marketer like how the product needs to be intelligently launched in the market, how the greater value needs to be put into that value to the customers so that he starts feeling that what he is spending makes some value to it. So there are a lot of ideas which are being generated. There is some idea screening which is done. There is some lot of business analysis which is done. And then after collating all these aspects in this regard, we need to big, with a big push make the product available in the market. And initially I must want to tell you here that when a product is launched in the market, it is not launched in the market with a big scale. It is launched with a test marketing as a key scale. They want to see how the new product is added to the existing market, how it is performing. What is the response they are getting in relation to that product? If you are getting the good market results as far as the test marketing is concerned, then of course the commercialization happens. Otherwise, then of course the, that product is withdrawn from the market and the innovations, the feedback, what they have received in relation to that product is incorporated in that product. And of course, the overall aspects in relation to the improvement what is required is done with the existing product and then the market dynamics, how the consumer is responding to that, what is the competitive landscape which is available, how many competitors are there in the market, what kind of feedback is required, what kind of feedback is given by the consumer. All these aspects are analyzed and then we resonate with the target market with that kind of pointed arguments and with that kind of pointed production in that regard so that the product what we are developing and giving it to the market because they all affect the product life cycle also. If you keep improving the product, each stage will be sustained to a bigger level and if the product becomes redundant or you are not taking care of the innovations. Uh, the desire of the customer, the improvements which are required to bridge the gap between the new and the improved product, then you lose the market and right from the introduction, they meet the decline stage very quickly. So all these critical aspects need to be a part of the business strategy, the strategic planning and the innovation and the growth which is required and the new and the improved products are there in the market. So, a deep understanding and so many functions, they function together like where there is a lot of requirement of cross-functioning collaborations and a continuous market research in this regard is required for the deep understanding of the evolving, the changing needs of the consumers which needs to be contemplated, which needs to be collected which needs to be put in together to change and evolve the business strategy in this regard. So, if you want to see the light 
the success of the product which is launched and each stage to be sustained, then you need to have a combination of the creativity, the technical expertise and the strategic planning to ensure the resulting products, they also need and meet the customer changing needs and stand out in the marketplace. There are a lot of competitors in the market. So, the competitor who has touched the pulse of the market, who has actually been very close to the consumers and being intensely spending on the research and the development part of the product, definitely they become the market leader because they constantly evolve their product with the new offerings of the product and the product developments uh, plays actually a very vital role across all products, across all industries and definitely it enables the companies to introduce the fresh offerings which are as per the desire, needs and the satisfaction of the consumer and actually all these aspects together, they drive innovation and the growth. And also you need to be very, very competitive in terms of revolutionizing your product. Like for example, you can see there is a breakthrough in the technology as far as the environmental sustainability is concerned. So, if as a market leader you want to be, so you need to revolutionize the present model of the car and bringing a revolutionary change in the actually bringing an electric car which is a groundbreaking battery technology to be the market leader. And on the similar pretext, if you are talking about the mobile industry, if every year people wait for the market leading phones to come out with a better and a biggest model in terms of the features, in terms of the technology which is embedded in them. So, a well established smartphone company is launching a new line of the smartphone security devices also becomes a new product development. Also, if you talk about the people are becoming more calorie conscious and they are more towards decreasing the intake of the calories, but they want to have the energy drinks. So, if you are coming out with a new product range in this regard, which is the most popular beverage company, then definitely you are adding to the, uh, the new product lines. So, it becomes a new product development or you are also talking about some improvements, some revisions to the existing product of the market. So, you are actually releasing an updated version constantly uh, keeping into regard and keeping uh, the flagship high of the existing product with the new improved add-on features owing to which you will always upheld the market legacy and also adding the new improved innovative competitive line of the products in the market. Similarly, we can also give some examples of the smart watches that every uh, coming model is a better model. They are people are having some Fitbit models. They are also looking for some smartphones. They are also looking for a matching smart watches. So they are aligning with the changing needs of the customers. And also the product life cycle depends on the stages what they are doing and staying competitive in the market. All these features is going to increase the growth and the revenue and uh, your product remains relevant in the market because you are incorporating and adapting to the technological advancements and meeting and evolving the customer needs and also growing demand for the remote services. So, you need to be very competitive in terms of uh, the changing, evolving, sustainable needs. So, you change the organic menu for edible products. Uh, you change the model of the existing product according to the environment. So, environmentally conscious products become available in the market and they have a high demand because we do not have planet B. Earth is the only planet. So, we need to be cautious about our consumption. So, that is how the driving 
need is there to make your products more sustainable and also upheld the fashion and the growing trends in this regard. You need to enhance some brand features, technological advancements and showcase that your business is taking care of the competitive environment and also incorporating every bit and every need of the consumers as far as the detailed part is concerned. So, all these things need to be strategically planned, only then you become profound stand out in this regard. Now, the product life cycle what we have discussed is very pertinent. Every stage has its own bits and falls. Every stage needs to be studied of the competitive, competitive product also. Now, as the product enters the market, it is not very clear and sure that whether the product will be sustained in the market or not. So, it is purely depending upon the efforts which the marketer has to put in each stage to sustain the stage at a bigger, better level and also uh, they have to incorporate that why the sales are declining, why the sales are moving up. That means the people are liking your product. If the sales are declining, that means some strategic changes needs to be done as far as the product development is concerned, as far as the innovation part is concerned, as far as putting some promotional strategies in concern. So, all these things, you, the marketer has to be on the go always, every time with the evolving marketing changing strategies as they move through these distinct phases. And there are definitely some uh, aspects which need to be kept in mind. Sometimes the calculations which the marketer makes as far as the sustenance of the different product life cycle stages are concerned, they are a complete failure because immediately there is some breakthrough in the technology. So, what they have thought about, what their strategic plans are, they are not meeting and definitely as and when the product is introduced, they meet the decline stage. There is no maturity, there is no peak and right from the introduction, they immediately see the decline stage. So, there are no actual, there is a lot of criticism also of the product life cycle in this regard that there are no proper calculations in this regard that each stage lasts for how long. So, the concept assumes that all the products definitely have a limited lifespan. So, you have to really work to make that lifespan bigger, better by giving and rendering the existing product some new improved features and definitely if you cannot do something about the technology, then come out immediately with an improved model because that product will be obsolete as far as the technology part is concerned, which you cannot even force the customers, even if you slash the prices or put some promotional strategies in place, that they will be sold in the market. No, they will not be sold in the market. Now, there are some artificial intelligence, machine learning, internet of things and the culmination of uh, the recent uh, phenomena as far as the predictive models are concerned. So, every marketer is putting that in place and using the most, uh, you know, important updates in this regard and incorporating in their marketing strategic planning that how and what aspects to be taken into pattern as far as the predictability part is concerned. So, these models what they predict, they are definitely, they have to be in a sequence form because they always follow a cyclical trends. So, at what level the sales are showing a consistent pattern. So, they have to reason out, they have to analyze that owing to what particular feature and the market strategies that the sales are showing the consistent patterns. The moment they start uh, feeling some decline, so uh, you need to see that what was there actually in the market owing to which the expected fall is there in the market. The product life cycle assumes that the different marketing strategies are required at each stage to maximize 
the product potential. Like you have to see that what particular promotional, distributional, technological, intelligent strategy have to be in place in order to maintain and retain the market share. So, the product development goes on, on and on and continuously develop in order to replace the decline stage and you need to have a sustained growth. And you also need to be competitive uh, as far as the purchasing patterns, attitude, preferences, change in fashion are concerned. Because, you know, to predict the consumer behavior is one of the vital aspects of the marketer. So, if you are able to predict and be very close to the progression, evolving, changing needs of the consumers, then of course, market is yours. And also, what your competitor is offering to the consumers, that is also very important. Because if you are able to map the strategies of your competitor, you are able to map the minds of the consumers, then you can strategize as far as the matured market is concerned and become a market leader. You need to be very closely working with the product life cycle as far as the pricing is concerned, innovation is concerned, technology is concerned and the product differentiation is concerned. Now, let me reiterate here that the products differentiation, they move through the life cycle and the concept assumes that the emphasis on the product differentiation may change. And also in the introduction and the growth phase, the differentiation may be more focused on the product features and benefits, while the maturity and the decline phases, the differentiation may shift to branding, consumer services and the pricing. You need to show the consumers that your products are the best. You are incorporating the environmental, the eco vision into your product, constantly evolving the product and shaping the product as per as the economic factors and the environmental, the social factors are concerned. Because if they are not studied in depth, the life cycle stages will be shorter. So, these economic conditions, the consumer demands, the production and overall competitiveness of the product in the markets have to be collectively seen. Now, what we have discussed as of now, these assumptions, they collectively underpin and concept and provide a framework for the business. So, uh, the product life cycle, subsequently, there is a product transitions uh, from the different stages, meeting the different growth sales, stabilizes the market and becomes very saturated. So, the product enters the decline stage where the sales begin to diminish due to the factors such as shifting consumers' preferences, technological advancements and emergence of a superior alternative product. So, they are critical and of course, you need to adapt with the changing market. You need to put a lot of money as far as the R&D is concerned. So, these development stage, uh, it's it gives you a very high cost, no revenue, focus on R&D and the sales curve at zero. The product is not available for the product. The goal is to create a market ready products that meets the consumer demand. So, as far as the introductory part is concerned, there are low sales, there is expensive distribution cost and the consumer awareness is less and the product development cost and the competition is very high. So, different strategies have to be put as far as the growth stage is concerned. You need to do a lot uh, uh, relating to the rapid sales growth, market acceptance, expanded distribution, rising revenues, competitive pressures. So, in the growth stage, the companies focus on the maximizing of the market share, enhancing the product position, capitalizing the increasing demand and of course, additionally, the investments in the product improvement in order to have the competitive market. At the maturity stage, you reach the top, your sales are stabilized, there is a market saturation and you face the market competition with the cost efficiency. So, in the maturity stage, the companies seek to prolong the product life cycle by extending its relevance and profitability. So, the companies may explore the opportunities for the product diversification or line extensions to cater to the evolving preferences. In the decline stage, you have to be really bothered about 
the decreasing revenues, the decreasing market share, the obsolescence of the product. So, you, do, you have to strategize your cost, your strategic decision and your market exit. You need to harvest that a lot has to be spent on research and development. So, all these aspects are very important and the product life cycle needs a, a closer look for the market becoming a market leader. Thank you so much.